Welcome back to another spooktacular video for you guys today in the month of October, my favorite month of the year. I'm so excited to be talking about this news today that we have coming from Nintendo. Although it's a bit of bittersweet news, it is something that is a precursor to Nintendo Switch 2 coming out. Nintendo made a move. Maybe you've heard about it. I don't know. We're going to dive deep, though, into what exactly Nintendo did, why they're doing it, and why this is likely related to Nintendo Switch 2. Before we do that, though, I just want to remind you, we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and you know what? Maybe ringling that dingling to be notified of all future uploads. Also, by the way, if you guys want to go down to the comments down below, I would appreciate if you would tell me what game you're most looking forward to this month. Remember, we have Detective Pikachu coming out. We have Mario Wonder coming out, Spider-Man 2. I think Assassin's Creed Mirage releases tomorrow. Whatever, Sonic Superstars as well. So we got a lot of games coming out this month. Which one are you most looking forward to? All right, guys. So Nintendo did something last night, and they always seem to do this with their end of day slash nighttime posts. They sneak bad news out there hoping that by the morning, they can just move on. And they did it again with this tweet from Nintendo of America that says, as of April 2024, online play and other functionality that uses online communication will end service for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U software. Thank you very much for your continued support of our products. Find out more here. And oh boy, is there a lot more to find out. But before we dive into those details, Guys, of course, Nintendo was going to end these services. They had teased, I don't know, over a year ago, a couple years ago, that they eventually were going to end these services. And guys, with the Nintendo Switch 2 about to come out, guess what? That would make the Wii U and 3DS three generation old hardware. Yeah, they're going to stop supporting that hardware. It's unfortunate, and it's really unfortunate because the 3DS and the Wii U were sort of the first systems to have a true account System like we had friend codes, technically with Wii and all that, but really the Wii U with the Nintendo Network, the Miiverse stuff, uh, online digital purchases, all of it really blew up with 3DS and Wii U. And naturally, you have some concerns, such as, man, my entire library is digital. What now? Well, let's dive into what Nintendo had to put on their website. So they said, the announcement of the discontinuation, they go into exactly uh, what they're going to be doing here. So this does apply to the new 3DS, the new 3DS XL, the new 3DS 2DS XL, uh, the Nintendo 3DS, the Nintendo 3DS XL, Nintendo 2DS, Wii U Deluxe, and the Wii U Basic. So it says, thank you very much for supporting our products. Now, in early April 2024, online play and other functionality that uses online communication will end for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U software. This also includes online cooperative play, internet rankings, and data distribution. You can find out more information about badges and decorating Nintendo 3DS home menu using the Nintendo Badge Arcade at a different area. I went through it and I'm pretty much just getting rid of it, anything that you don't have already downloaded. Now, we will announce a specific date and time at a later date. <laughs> Here's an interesting note. Please note that if an event occurs that would make it difficult to continue online services for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U software, we may have to discontinue the services earlier than planned. They're just warning you right now. Hey, guess what, guys? Uh, we're saying April. It might be this year. Stay tuned. So I don't know if they're just putting that out there as like a warning shot, but it is what it is. Now it says we sincerely thank the players for using the online services Etc. 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 And this includes software exclusive the new Nintendo 3DS. Now, if you go to the Q and A section, there are some good answers for some of you. So, as an example, will I still be able to play offline? Well, of course, you can still play offline. Online doesn't affect offline play. They then ask, will any online services still be available after online services generally end? It will still be possible to use online services for the following software, but that could probably end at some point in the future. So, Pokemon Bank and Poka transporter so yeah they're gonna keep the pokemon game being able to like bank your pokemon and you know put them in different games and bring them forward to switch games they're not getting rid of that of course they're warning hey someday we might not support it but for right now pokemon company is keeping those services online now here's an important question what about third-party companies are you also ending online services for software from publishers other than nintendo they note, with some exceptions, online services will end for all Nintendo 3DS and Wii U software. You can contact publishers for information about online services for theirs. So if there is a game that's going to keep their online going, it's going to be outside of Nintendo's purview because it's not going to be up to them. Now, 
This is the most important one. Will it still be possible to download update data or purchased software? For the foreseeable future, it will still be possible to download update data and re-download purchased software and downloadable content from the Nintendo eShop. So, yeah, they got rid of our ability to buy stuff a while ago. But, but if you have digital, they're basically saying... We're not getting rid of your digital games. You are going to be able to update your games. You're going to be able to download the games you already bought digitally. This is actually pretty good news. So online services go away, but you your games aren't necessarily going away. Of course, for games like Splatoon 1, no online service. It might feel like the game is gone. Now, they go do go into detail Street Pass and Spot Pass. Uh, Street Pass uses local communication, so it's not really going anywhere. Spot Pass was obviously online, so Spot Pass will be gone. However, this is a part that sucks, and I wish they gave a better solution. You will be able to use Street Pass in Street Pass Mini Plaza, which is pre-installed, but you will no longer be able to use features that use online communication, such as receiving new panels in Puzzle Swap. I wish they would just let us download all the puzzle pieces and then modify the software to still unlock them for us with Street Pass, but it is what it is. You know, 3DS has been around a long time. I don't know how many people are still using this feature, so... This is obviously incredibly sad news, but also expected news. Again, Nintendo warned us this was going to happen eventually, and no surprise that April 2024 is when it's happening. You know why that's a very interesting date? April 2024 begins their brand new fiscal year. What's probably happening in fiscal year 2024 to 2025 for Nintendo? Nintendo Switch 2 is very, very likely to be coming out. I don't think that this is a coincidence when they're ending these services because they're going to mask the closure of these services with the hype for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, it's going to be curious how long they obviously keep the Nintendo services for Nintendo Switch going. Probably much longer because we pay a subscription fee. So the subscription fee and the money behind it is going to lead to Nintendo Switch services probably being available maybe even another decade. Who knows? But yeah, this is obviously sad. Of note, that doesn't mean online is going away entirely for 3DS and Wii U. If you want to get involved in the modding community, there are places that are preserving this, setting up servers. Pretty much as soon as Nintendo turns the lights out, there will be communities online that you'll be able to play these games through if you want to modify your platforms. And one of them that seems to be trending a lot lately is one named Pretendo. But look, I don't really know much about this stuff because I don't modify and hack my systems. But obviously, they're going to come back in some form through that community if that is something that you happen to be interested in. And modding Wii U and 3DS has been really never easier than it is today if that's something you are interested in. Anyways, guys. Obviously, I feel like this all has to do with Nintendo Switch 2. They have a new platform coming. It's time to phase out the old, in with the new. This is expected behavior. We've seen other companies do this. A little bit more difficult when Sony was trying to do it because, again, people paid for the service back on PS3. We didn't pay for access to anything on Wii U. We didn't pay for access for anything on 3DS in terms of online connectivity. So Nintendo, they're just going to get away with this. One, Wii U didn't sell very well, so most people won't even miss the Wii U, unfortunately. And then the 3DS, which is a bigger deal. Again, they're pushing everyone. They want people to buy Switch. They want people to move on to Switch 2. And this is just the reality of these online services. And we do have to remember this, that, hey, even with Switch, someday they're going to shut down the online servers on Switch. It's going to happen. It, it, it's just the reality. Welcome to online, <laughs> I guess is... You know, the new age of online, or I guess what online was always going to be. I mean, this happens with PC game servers as well, right? Like, as soon as certain PC games drop in popularity, usually the servers get shut down. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this news down in the comments below. Obviously, I am a little bummed, but I'm not going to miss it. I haven't turned my 3DS or Wii U on in ages. I'm probably not really going to miss a whole lot here. Although, Nintendo Network, I mean, that was the best name for an online network. Nintendo had this whole NSO thing. You're really tying it to Nintendo Switch, but hey, whatever. If they're going to keep the Switch brand going into the future, just like Xbox, you know, Live or Xbox Games of Gold, and you know what? Hey, if Switch is going to be your brand for a while, I guess NSO can continue to work. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here, and I'm going to catch you in the next video.